Good morning. Uh, real quick, we're going to talk about and learn how to cook the most versatile uh, breakfast food that there is. Eggs. Uh, there's many, many, many ways you can cook them. Uh, you can hard boil them, soft boil them, uh, fry them sunny side up, uh, over easy, scrambled, uh, eggs benedict. Uh, so there's many different ways. I actually don't like eggs pretty much at all. Um, the only eggs I did like or do like is my grandma. She can cook them. Uh, so she taught me how to scramble them. They still don't taste the same. I don't know why. Maybe she puts her foot in it or something. Uh, but I'm going to teach you how to scramble eggs the best way I know how to. Um, so first, let's talk about our utensils. Uh, we got a plastic spatula. Don't want to use metal in the pan. We got two forks. You'll see why in just a minute. And then we got a pan that's already preheating around just under medium. Uh, you don't want it to get too hot. You don't want to burn the eggs or cook them too quickly. Ingredients. I got two eggs already cracked. I got some salt and I got some cheese. That's all I need. Oh, butter. And that's all I need. Uh, some people put pepper in or other uh, seasoning. I don't really like that. I don't like to cook uh, pepper. I like to put pepper on after it's done cooking. It gets a little bitter if you cook it prior. So, without a doubt, let's get to cooking. Um, so, I'm going to take one of my forks here and I'm just going to beat the eggs in my bowl here. As you can see, it's mixing well, the yolk with the whites. Now you can take the yolk out if you want to, but that's where all the flavor in the egg is. You take that out and you got nothing. So I'm going to keep beating until it is all mixed up. You see this yellowy color? All right, that's perfect. So now I'm going to add just a pinch of salt. Okay, so I'm just going to put a little bit of salt in there. Any salt will do, uh, except table salt. I don't really like using table salt to cook with. I got cheddar cheese, however much you want. Whatever kind of cheese is also good. If you want a little bit creamier eggs, you can use American cheese. It kind of melts a little bit better. I like the taste of sharp cheddar better, so that's what I use. I'm just going to give that a quick. I don't want to mix it too much. Just mix it in there. Bam. Okay. So like I said already, let me move you over here. We can see my pan. I've already got the pan preheating. I'm going to take my other fork and you can use a spoon. It ain't got to be a fork. But I'm going to take it and add some butter. A little bit of sizzle. Okay. So I'm going to use that to coat my pan. See if it's smoking. You got it too hot. We're going to turn it down just a little bit. This was what I use as a non-stick. I don't like sprays. That's what I'm gonna use. All right, take this out. I'm done with this fork. You don't want a salmonella everywhere, so I'm done with that one. Okay, we're gonna pour our eggs in there, making sure to get it off. Should hear a little sizzle, but not much. If it's sizzling like crazy, you got it way too high. So I'm gonna get that out. There, let me move you a little closer. Here, now, here's one of the most important parts. I'm gonna stay and I'm gonna stir them. Okay, most of the time while they're cooking, I'm gonna stir them. I'm not gonna walk off and just leave them. So what'll happen is the bottom will cook, the top won't. You come over here, you try to cut it up, try to mix it then, and then you got problems. It cooks unevenly and you don't want that. So again, here you can add, you know, you can add peppers, you can add onions, whatever you want. I don't like any of that. Just egg, salt, cheese. That's it. And butter to cook with to keep it from sticking. So this whole time, notice it's not cooking too fast, but it's still not slow. Eggs don't take long at all. If you're cooking something else, like um, bacon or pancakes, you got time to go and flip it, something like that. But these are almost done. So one of the things, I'm gonna take it off of the eye just before they're done because they're gonna finish cooking in the pan, okay? 
if you follow those quick steps, ingredients, you'll have eggs that just about anybody will eat. All right, thanks.